Namaskar and uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's my pleasure to welcome you all to the Curtain Riser program for the sixth edition of India International Science Festival, IISF. Launched in 2015, the IIS, IISF is meant for promoting science and technology in the country and to demonstrate how science could quickly change India into a developed nation. The Ministry of Science and Technology and the Ministry of Earth Science in association with Vigyan Bharati, Vibha, has created this unique platform, IASF, to inspire curiosity and make learning more rewarding. We are delighted to have with us Honorable Union Minister of Science and Technology, Earth Science and Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Harshwardhan Ji, as the chief guest. We thank you, sir, for gracing this occasion by your valuable presence. We are also very happy to have with us as special guest, Professor Sandeep Verma, Secretary, Science and Engineering Research Board, SERB, and Sri Jayant Sashrabuddhe, National Organizing Secretary, Vikyan Bharati. On behalf of IIT Kanpur, I welcome you both for this Curtain Riser program. From IIT Kanpur, we have with us Professor Abhay Karandikar, Director, Professor A.R. Arish, Dean of Research and Development, Professor Siddharth Panda, representing the National Center for Flexible Electronics, and Professor Tarun Gupta, Associate Dean, Research and Development. We also have with us Dr. Sunil Mishra, General Secretary, Vibhag Kanpur Chapter, and part of the organizing committee for this event. Welcome, Dr. Sunil Mishra. Now I invite Sri Jayant Shastra Buddhe for his inaugural address. Namaste. आज के इस कार्यक्रम के सम्माननीय मुख्य अतिथि डॉक्टर हर्षवर्धन जी आदरणीय संदीप जी आईआईटी कानपुर के निदेशक आदरणीय डॉक्टर अभय जी करंदीकर आप सभी उनके सहयोगी और इस कार्यक्रम में पधारे हुए सारे बंधु भगिनी आप सभी को मैं सादर अभिवादन करता हूं इंडिया इंटरनेशनल साइंस फेस्टिवल का छठवां संस्करण कल प्रारंभ होने जा रहा है और उसके पूर्व दिन ही हम ये बहुत ही एक अच्छा कार्यक्रम कर रहे हैं विज्ञान के साथ लोगों को जोड़ने के लिए जैसे गणेश जी ने उल्लेख किया कि ये पूरा फेस्टिवल ये विज्ञान के साथ लोगों को बहुत सरल पद्धति से जोड़ने का एक माध्यम बन गया है हम सब जानते हैं सामान्यता लोगों के अंदर एक ऐसी बात मन में आई है कि विज्ञान एक गंभीर इस प्रकार का विषय है लेकिन आपके जैसे विज्ञान के क्षेत्र में कार्यरत लोग जानते हैं कि विज्ञान करते करते कितना आनंद आता है और यही आनंद लोगों तक पहुंचाना ये इस उत्सव का उद्देश्य है अपना देश पूरे विश्व में उत्सवों के लिए प्रसिद्ध ऐसा देश है अपने देश के कोने कोने में प्रतिदिन रंग बिरंगे उत्सव चलते रहते हैं तो हमने ऐसे सोचा कि अपने देश में इन सारे उत्सव का भी एक उत्सव होना चाहिए और इसलिए विज्ञान प्रौद्योगिकी मंत्रालय पृथ्वी विज्ञान मंत्रालय और अपने देश में विज्ञान भारती ये जो एक बहुत बड़ा विज्ञान आंदोलन कार्यरत है इन्होंने मिलकर ये सोचा कि अपने देश में हम एक विज्ञान का महोत्सव प्रारंभ करेंगे कल्पना ये थी और 2015 में पहला विज्ञान महोत्सव प्रारंभ किया गया और प्रति वर्ष ऐसी यात्रा आगे बढ़ती गई और 2019 में प्रति वर्ष ऐसे पांच कार्यक्रम कर पाए इस वर्ष छठवा इंडिया इंटरनेशनल साइंस फेस्टिवल करने का विचार स्वाभाविक था गए साल उत्साह ये था कि डॉक्टर हर्षवर्धन जी ने यह घोषित किया कि पांचवे कार्यक्रम में हम एक छत के नीचे 28 कार्यक्रम कर चुके हैं लेकिन अगले कार्यक्रम में इनकी संख्या बढ़ाकर हम 40 कार्यक्रम करेंगे तो स्वाभाविक ही उसी उत्साह से सारे लोग लगे थे लेकिन हम सब जानते हैं कि इस वर्ष के मार्च महीने में ये कोरोना का संकट आया और सारे अपने जो क्रियाकलाप चलते हैं हिलचल होती है उन पर प्रतिबंध लगा और धीरे धीरे सभी को 
इस वर्चुअल प्लेटफॉर्म्स के द्वारा जुड़ने का अभ्यास बढ़ता गया हमने ऐसे सोचा प्रारंभ में कि सामान्यता सब लोग एक साथ मिलकर उत्सव मनाते हैं वैसा ही प्रतिवर्ष जैसा उत्सव इस साल भी मनाएंगे लेकिन इन प्रतिबंधों के कारण ऐसे लगा कि यह कितना संभव होगा लेकिन लगा कि स्थितियां सामान्य होगी लेकिन अक्टूबर जैसे आया तब पता चला कि स्थितियां सामान्य नहीं होगी इसलिए सोचा गया कि वर्चुअल स्पेस निर्माण करते हुए इस कार्यक्रम को करेंगे लेकिन इसको रोकेंगे नहीं इस साल इसको टालेंगे भी नहीं और ऐसे सोचकर 20 अक्टूबर को यह तय किया गया कि 2020 का आई जरूर करना है उसके बाद सारी तैयारियां शुरू हुई Uh, हम सब जानते हैं कि अपने देश में वैज्ञानिक अपने ही देश के नहीं तो पूरे विश्व के वैज्ञानिक इस महामारी का संकट का सामना करने में जुटे हैं कुछ औषधियां निर्माण करने की सारी एक प्रकार से प्रयासों की बात चल रही है तो स्वाभाविक उसमें अपने प्रधानमंत्री जी ने आत्मनिर्भरता की बात की लेकिन उसके साथ साथ हम सब भारतवासियों का जो चरित्र है हम विश्व को एक बाजार नहीं समझते ग्लोबल मार्केट नहीं समझते तो सदियों से विश्व को एक परिवार मानने की अपनी कल्पना रही है तो इस समय हमने ये सोचा सभी ने मिलकर कि इस समय विज्ञान आत्मनिर्भरता के लिए जितना आवश्यक है उसी प्रकार से विश्व कल्याण के लिए भी आवश्यक है तो ये बातें सोचकर हमने विचार किया कि इस वर्ष आत्मनिर्भरता और विश्व कल्याण दोनों की प्राप्ति के लिए विज्ञान कैसे उपयोगी होता है इसको लोगों के सामने प्रस्तुत करेंगे तो इसलिए ये सेंट्रल थीम बन गई साइंस और आत्मनिर्भर भारत एंड ग्लोबल वेलफेयर जैसे मैंने कहा कि 28 के कार्यक्रम 40 होने चाहिए ये कल्पना ऐसी है कि समाज के विभिन्न क्षेत्रों में लोग काम करते रहते हैं उन सभी का विज्ञान के साथ बहुत निकट का रिश्ता होता है ऐसे सभी लोगों को ये जो रिश्ता है विज्ञान के साथ उसको ठीक समझाने की बड़ी आवश्यकता रहती है क्योंकि जीवन के हर क्षेत्र में विज्ञान का जब स्पर्श होता है तब वहां प्रगति की ओर वो क्षेत्र बढ़ने लगता है इसलिए हमने अलग अलग विषयों को इस उत्सव के मंच पर लाने का विचार किया है और इस साल कई नए कार्यक्रम हम लेकर आए हैं उदाहरण के लिए साइंस एंड परफॉर्मिंग आर्ट्स अपना देश सदियों से कलाओं के लिए भी प्रसिद्ध है अपने देश में कलाओं का विकास विज्ञान के आधार पर हुआ जैसे अपने देश के एकमात्र नोबेल पुरस्कार वैज्ञानिक प्राप्त वैज्ञानिक चंद्रशेखर जी संगीत के वाद्यों पर गया उन्होंने दो तंतु वाद्य और दो ताल वाद्य इनके ऊपर वैज्ञानिक दृष्टि से शोध कार्य किया और तबला और मृदुंग और सितारा और वीणा इनके पीछे फिजिक्स क्या है गणित क्या है इसको उजागर किया तो हमने सोचा कि अपने देश में सदियों इकतारा से लेकर सौ तारा में संतूर इतने वाद्यों का आविष्कार हुआ है इनोवेशन है तो इस प्रकार का जो इनोवेशन है वो विज्ञान के आधार पर ही हो पाया तो उसको उजागर करना चाहिए इसलिए विज्ञान और अपने देश की कलाओं का एक साथ रिश्ता इसको हमने इस मंच पर प्रस्तुत करने का विचार किया है ऐसे कई प्रकार के कार्यक्रम हम इस साल लेकर आने वाले हैं और मुझे विश्वास है कि ये इस वर्ष का कार्यक्रम आभासीय मंच पर होने वाला है लेकिन 40 कार्यक्रमों के साथ लोगों के लिए एक बड़ा आकर्षण का विषय बनने वाला है हम सब जानते हैं कि इस आधुनिक प्रौद्योगिकी के कारण अपना समय बचता है और उसी की कल्पना करते हुए भले 20 अक्टूबर को इस कार्यक्रम के बारे में सोचा लेकिन सभी ने इस चुनौती को स्वीकार किया इस साल सीएसआईआर के पास इस कार्यक्रम को करने का दायित्व आया है और उन्होंने इस बात को स्वीकार करते हुए सब प्रकार की तैयारी शुरू की 2020 में करना है तो दो ही महीने बचे थे तो सबके ध्यान में आया कि अधिकाधिक समय मिले तब एक अच्छा कालावधि ध्यान में आया 22 दिसंबर अपने देश के गणितज्ञ रामानुजन जी का जन्मदिन है और 25 दिसंबर ये पूर्व प्रधानमंत्री अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी का जन्मदिन है 22 दिसंबर को भारत सरकार ने राष्ट्रीय गणित दिन इस नाते घोषित किया है और माननीय अटल जी ने 
विज्ञान की विकास में जो महत्वपूर्ण भूमिका रहती है उसको समझकर जय किसान जय जवान के साथ जय विज्ञान का नारा दिया तो हमने सोचा एक बहुत सुंदर संयुक्त चार दिन का कार्यक्रम होता है 22 से 25 दिसंबर बराबर चार दिन हमें प्राप्त होते मिलते हैं तो हमने सोचा कि इन दिनों में ये कार्यक्रम करेंगे और उसके अनुसार हम कल से इस विज्ञान महोत्सव का प्रारंभ करेंगे हमें सबको खुशी होगी कि माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने कल इसका उद्घाटन करने का जो हमारा प्रार्थना पत्र है उसको स्वीकार करते हुए इसका उद्घाटन करने का मन बनाया है और उसी प्रकार से अपने देश के उपराष्ट्रपति माननीय वेंकैया नायडू जी इस कार्यक्रम के समापन समारोह में 25 तारीख को सम्मिलित होंगे तो अपने देश के ऐसे शीर्ष दिग्गजों के द्वारा इसका उद्घाटन होगा समापन होगा और अपने देश के और विश्व के कई वैज्ञानिक और अपने देश में बच्चों से लेकर किसानों तक ऐसे कई क्षेत्र के लोग इस कार्यक्रम में सम्मिलित होने वाले हैं मैं आप सभी की सक्रिय सहभागिता इस उत्सव को सब करने में मिले ऐसी प्रार्थना करता हूं हम सब जानते हैं कि वर्तमान में 2020 मैचेस क्रिकेट के जो होते हैं उसका परिचय हमें हुआ है तो ये सारा कार्यक्रम भी 2020 मैचेस में जैसे बहुत जल्दी हम सारी बातें करते हैं उसी प्रकार से करने का सबका मन बना और उसकी तैयारी अच्छी हो पाई अब केवल 24 घंटे बचे हैं और आपका जैसा अपने देश का एक बहुत बड़ा प्रतिष्ठित संस्थान और भी इसमें सम्मिलित होकर इस सो को केवल सफल नहीं बनाएगा तो सार्थक भी बनाएगा ऐसा मुझे विश्वास है फिर एक बार आप सभी को मुझे यहाँ पर कुछ विचार प्रस्तुत करने के लिए अवसर दिया इसलिए धन्यवाद आपका प्रकट करते हुए मैं यही रुकता हूं नमस्कार नमस्कार थैंक यू वेरी मच श्री जयंत सहस्रबुद्धे जी फॉर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग अस टू आई आई एस एफ इवेंट ऑफ दिस ईयर मे आई नाउ इनवाइट डॉक्टर सुनील मिश्रा फॉर अ वेलकम ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ विभाग नमस्ते ये काम कार्यक्रम चूंकि कानपुर में हो रहा है तो इसलिए विज्ञान भारती कानपुर की तरफ से मैं अपने मुख्य अतिथि डॉक्टर हर्षवर्धन जी श्री जयंत सहस्रबुद्धे जी और प्रोफेसर संदीप वर्मा जी का स्वागत करता हूं जयंत जी का उद्बोधन आप लोगों ने सुना थोड़ा सा आई के लिए उन्होंने पूरी बात बता दी मैं एक मिनट में विज्ञान भारती के बारे में थोड़ा सा बताना चाहूँगा जो आई कार्यक्रम है या और भी अनेक कार्यक्रम हैं विज्ञान भारती के वो विज्ञान भारती के हजारों कार्यकर्ताओं के परिश्रम का फल है विज्ञान भारती की जो केंद्रीय इकाई है वो 32 राज्य इकाइयों के माध्यम से काम करती है और कानपुर राज्य इकाई उत्तर प्रदेश की प्राचीनतम राज्य इकाइयों में से गिनी जाती है कानपुर की राज्य इकाई जो है वो उन्नीस सन 2000 से प्रारंभ हुई और हमें बड़ा गर्व है कि हमारे वर्तमान अध्यक्ष प्रोफेसर अभय करंदीकर जी जो पिछले दो वर्ष से हैं और दूसरा कार्यकाल अपना कर रहे हैं उनके आशीर्वाद से तमाम कार्यक्रम सुचारू रूप से चल रहे हैं लेकिन आईआईटी का सहयोग हमें पहले भी मिलता रहा है पहले भी हमारे तीन अध्यक्ष आई से रह चुके हैं एक दिल्ली आईआईटी से रिटायर्ड प्रोफेसर बिशन लाल खंडेलवाल हमारे अध्यक्ष रहे हैं आ, हमारे जो मुख्य वक्ता इस समय हैं स्पेशल वक्ता जो हैं प्रोफेसर संदीप वर्मा इनके आदरणीय पिताजी स्वर्गीय प्रोफेसर विनय कुमार वर्मा जी बी एच से रिटायर हुए थे वो हमारे अध्यक्ष रह चुके हैं और जस्ट अभी अभय जी के पहले प्रोफेसर हरिश्चंद वर्मा हमारे अध्यक्ष रहे हमें एक और चीज़ बताने में गर्व होता है कि जो विज्ञान भारती का एक बहुत बड़ा कार्यक्रम होता है विद्यार्थी विज्ञान मंथन जिसके माध्यम से साइंस विलेज भी इस आई में हो आई का हिस्सा है वो विद्यार्थी मन, विज्ञान मंथन का प्रारंभ प्रोफेसर हरीश चंद्र वर्मा जी के 
और प्रोफेसर विनय कुमार वर्मा जी के सहयोग से कानपुर में और प्रारंभ हुआ था इसका हम लोगों को एक गर्व है कि ये एक बड़ा कार्यक्रम हम लोगों ने कानपुर से प्रारंभ किया था जो पूरे देश के हिसाब से शुरू हुआ आज हम लोग 21 वर्ष कानपुर इकाई पूरी कर चुकी है और अब हम लोगों के केवल प्रांत की इकाई नहीं हम लोगों के चार विभाग इकाइयाँ भी काम कर रही हैं कानपुर महानगर फरुखाबाद इटावा झांसी ये फंक्शनल यूनिट्स हैं तो डॉक्टर हर्षवर्धन जी का आशीर्वाद हम लोगों को प्राप्त है और जो दिल्ली आईआईटी से यात्रा प्रारंभ हुई थी आईएसएफ की वो आज एक आभासीय मुद्रा में फिर दिल्ली से ही हो रही है और हम लोग उसके पूरे सहयोगी हैं हमको एक और चीज बतानी है कि हम लोगों को उत्तर प्रदेश में कानपुर इकाई को आईएसएफ के गेम्स एंड टॉयज कार्यक्रम का जिम्मा मिला हुआ है और एसिस्टिव टेक्नोलॉजी कंक्लेव एंड एक्सपो फॉर दिव्यांगजन ये हमारी अवध प्रांत इकाई को जिम्मा मिला हुआ है तो उत्तर प्रदेश को दो कार्यक्रमों के जिम्मे मिले हुए हैं और हम लोग उसको पूरी तरह से सबसे ज्यादा रजिस्ट्रेशन गेम्स एंड टॉयज में करीब ढाई हजार रजिस्ट्रेशन हुए हैं अब तक और ये कार्यक्रम होने हैं इसी के साथ मैं अपनी वाणी पर विराम देता हूँ धन्यवाद थैंक यू वेरी मच डॉक्टर सुनील मिश्रा जी ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर डॉक्टर हर्षवर्धन डायरेक्टर आईआईटी कानपुर प्रोफेसर अभय करंदीकर सेक्रेटरी एस सी आर बी प्रोफेसर संदीप वर्मा श्री जयंत सहस्त्रबुद्धे जी एंड डॉक्टर सुनील मिश्रा जी एंड माय फैकल्टी कोलिग्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन टुडे वी आर मेकिंग अ ब्रीफ प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन द आर एंड डी एक्टिविटीज एट आई कानपुर which are targeted towards self reliant india state of the art research facilities vibrant research ecosystem and robust entrepreneurship policy help us in achieving these results not only the research but also iit kanpur focuses on the development of uavs we have been working on uavs for indian army during the lockdown period these uavs developed at iit kanpur were used for surveillance by the district administration a flight lab is a unique national facility which is being used by students from various organizations throughout the country the reusable mask n95 mask which is being manufactured by an incubate company at iit kanpur has the capacity to produce about 25000 masks every day almost one mask every 3 seconds comes out of this machine another incubate incubate company noka robotics along with the help of iit kanpur faculty members managed to design and develop an invasive ventilator in just less than 3 months during the pandemic this is being de deployed in many hospitals throughout the country the ecosystem to take ideas to market through startup innovation and incubation center helps in taking technology to the common man it gives an opportunity for young minds to convert their ideas and thoughts into reality the mehta family center for engineering medicine helps in bringing engineering and medicine together the medtech and emimc as well as electrical safety testing facility is getting developed to help the local medical equipment manufacturers to bring their products into the market very easily school of international bio design is a new experiment which is focused on synergizing healthcare innovation and entrepreneurship activities the technology innovation hub which is being established at iit kanpur is focused on addressing cyber security issues related to cyber physical systems not just staying 
atmanirbhar self reliant we are also going global in terms of developing models which have become industry standards which is used by researchers internationally the thermal energy storage system is a mechanism by which we demonstrate how we can use the energy efficiently the anti counterfeiting mark it is a 3d mark which has been licensed to a company cannot be reproduced or cannot be counterfeited very easily there are several other technologies like cryogen leukocyte depletion filter or pm impact away sampler these and many more have been licensed to companies to take these products from design stage to real world we are all familiar with national air quality index iit kanpur has developed a product for capturing this information live and then process this information to understand the nature and the behavior of the air quality the center for ganga river management and also studies has done extensive work in managing the ganga river basin another technology developed at iit kanpur which has a real direct or had a real direct social impact was a zero discharge toilet system over 300 such toilets were deployed in mahakum in 2013 the rural technology action group focuses on technology for rural entrepreneurship iit kanpur does not just stay focused or does not does not just stay bent on technological knowledge sharing but also it puts its strengths and energy in the domain of agricultural knowledge sharing through products like agmooks and agropedia these research and development activities at iit kanpur is supported by several advanced centers which will which are housing sophisticated instruments one such center is national center for flexible electronics now i request professor siddharth panda to take over and give a glimpse of the activities happening at national center for flexible electronics as well as the research and innovation happening in the student domain over to you uh, thank you professor harish as mentioned one of the research centers in iit kanpur is the national center for flexible electronics which was set up in the year 2014 with support from iit kanpur and the ministry of electronics and information technology government of india the mention of the phase development of domestic industry in the field in the vision statement states the intent of the center its alignment with the concept of atmanirbhar bharat this center is positioned to be a bridge between the industrial ecosystem and the academic ecosystem uh, several ideas from the academic ecosystem do not make it way to the industrial ecosystem leading to a loss in the intellectual capital of our country keeping this in mind the center has undertaken several activities so as to increase the technology readiness levels so that this help for absorption of the technology by the industry in addition to that the center is also focused on enhancing the formation of an ecosystem in the country and also enabling trade manpower which can be absorbed by the industry the center also has set up a facilities all the way from the lab scale to the industry scale so this along with the availability of expertise makes it very attractive for the industry and all these things help to make the center a one stop shop for flexible electronics in india the center is also engaged with the industry through annual industry meets through uh, workshops and through several other methods and on the basis of this there have been a large number of uh, non non disclosure agreements which have been signed and there are currently and and, and uh, 22 members past and present as part of our industry Yeah, mem membership there have been several success stories 
from the center in the several uh, modes of engagement that is the core develop that is the incubation route the core development route and the te technology transfer route and then as an example an anti counterfeiting tag developed in the center has been uh, uh, has been uh, successfully incubated in the company along with that we have had indigenous materials which have been developed and an electronic tag which has been developed through, through the joint development route which has been uh, the know how of it has been transferred to the industry and we also have had a uh, smart algorithms which have been developed and transferred to the industry as we say this we have got ongoing activities with different industrial partners in different sectors such as strategic the strategic sector variables for healthcare for track and trace smart packaging food adulterations and materials validation so so far we have presented uh, technologies which have primarily been undertaken by faculty members with the help of graduate students and uh, the project staff but there's another segment of technology development which happens primarily by the undergraduate students and these are done under the auspices of the technology student jim khan and here are several uh, the, here here are several uh, examples of the activities which are being undertaken but what the highlight is is that several of these activities are aimed at trying to find solutions to the problems of india for example an activity there is an activity on a development of a robot for to help farming in hilly areas or robots to help kashmiri farmers in harvesting saffron another highlight is that like there has been a recognition from some of the top organizations of our country like the drdo isro and barc and they have been and and these activities also have been recognized in terms of medals in different competitions our students also have participated in competitions outside the country and also have gotten their recognition so what 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 what, what we would like to say is that the, the the education ecosystem at iit kanpur is a holistic one which which gives the students the exposure and also the facilitation so that they can contribute not only to the technology towards the technology development of a country but are sensitized towards the concept of self reliance in the country so with that i would like to conclude this presentation thank you very much thank you professor harish and professor panda for giving us a glimpse of uh, the technologies which are being developed at iit kanpur now it's my pleasure to invite uh, professor sandeep verma who is heading as a secretary of uh, science and engineering research board he is also our colleague so uh, a warm welcome to professor verma thank you very much uh, professor gupta uh, honorable union minister for science and technology earth sciences health and family welfare dr harshwardhan ji national organizing secretary of vigyan bharti shri jain ji sahasur budde director iit kanpur professor abhay karandikar general secretary vibha brahmavar dr sunil mishra and my colleagues from iit kanpur it is my proud privilege to be a part of this curtain raiser event of the 6th india international science fest 2020 which revolves around the theme of science for self reliant indian and global welfare as we all know uh, india has mounted a steady and a studied response to global pandemic under the exemplary leadership of our honorable prime minister and our honorable minister of science and technology which has not only saved lives but it also has won us critical acclaim at the global level in handling this pandemic in a very scientific manner and it is a, a proud moment and also proud feeling all along that how we have come together as scientists as technologists and strengthen the the hands of our top leadership in dealing with this uh, pandemic in dealing with this very deadly infection that has swept the world in the backdrop of this pandemic i mean i also feel that the theme of iisf 2020 this year is quite eminently suited for further discussion with among the stakeholders we realize when we are talking about iit kanpur and the presentation that we have just seen 
that I, that we have made our IIT Kanpur has made significant contributions in the manufacture of uh, personal protection equipment such as masks and 95 masks we are also uh, proud to see that ventilators have come out of IIT Kanpur incubators and several projects during the the course of this pandemic have come to IIT Kanpur, Kanpur from a variety of funding agencies which deal with COVID-19 infection, intervention, and virology. So we, we wish that institute that IIT Kanpur continues to demonstrate science and technology leadership in the missions of national importance. Finally, we'd like to tell you or share with you that, you know, uh, as we go along and develop uh, a knowledge base, it is imperative that we continue to uh, develop sustainable pub public health capacities through multi-sectorial interventions. It is important as we realize that this pandemic, and as you may have seen a uh, new uh, information, that a uh, virus variant is sweeping through the United Kingdom. And there is a chance or likelihood that it would also come to various parts of the country. So with this, with this background or with this information and ever emerging new strains, the future beckons us not only to rely on what we have done so far, but also to develop deep technologies in drugs, devices and diagnostics, which are going to be eventually supported by indigenous cutting edge knowledge and, and a self-reliant supply chain. And it is important that I emphasize the self-reliance in supply chain because whenever we deal with new drugs or develop new drugs, try to come up with uh, new devices, med tech devices. And if we were to look at new diagnostics, we have to be sure that much of what we require in achieving these goals has to come from within India because of the supply chain are broken at times. Sometimes we do not wish to go and get the usual supply chain, you know, kick started. So, the, so a self-reliance is incumbent upon us and the nation and society as a whole looks forward to these higher educational institutions such as IIT Kanpur for newer interventions, newer inventions and and, and technologies that can help us with the supply chain. And finally, we must uh, capitalize on the science and technology gain, gains we have made in the last nine months. And we, as we continue to invest in key areas where we can ensure health security and well-being of each and every Indian and also contribute to the well-being at the global level. And with these words and, uh, uh, and uh, Wishes to all of us for India International Science Festival 2020. I would like to thank all of you for this kind invitation. And I would like to close my talk by saying Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, Jai Vigyan, and Jai Anusantan. Jai Hin. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Verma, uh, for enlightening us and emphasizing the need of technology, that too of indigenous nature to tackle the public health problems which are rampant and for, for the future, we should be prepared. Now it's my pleasure to invite our director, Professor Abhay Karandikar, to give a brief. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Professor Tarun Gupta. Uh, Honorable Chief Guest, uh, Dr. Harsh Vardhan, Union Minister of Science and Technology, uh, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and Ministry of uh, Health Sciences. Uh, Shri Jayan Sahasrabutte Ji, uh, National Organizing Secretary, Vigyan Bharti, uh, Professor Sandeep Verma, uh, Secretary of Science and Engineering Research Board, uh, Dr. Sunil Mishra from Vigha Kanpur, uh, my colleagues, uh, Professor Ganesh, Deputy Director, Professor Harish, Dean of Research and Development, uh, Professor Siddharth Panda, uh, and Professor Karun Gupta. Uh, let me first of all uh, welcome you all uh, for this fundraiser ceremony of the India International Science Festival. On behalf of IIT Kanpur, uh, it is indeed uh, our pleasure to be part of this uh, e-curtain raiser ceremony for uh, IISF uh, 2020. Uh, as we all aware, and uh, and uh, Professor Jain Sahasrabuddhe ji has. Uh, very uh, eloquently uh, mentioned that uh, India International Science Festival was launched in 2015 uh, to promote science and technology and demonstrate uh, how science uh, could lead India 
towards a developed nation within a short span of time. Uh, this year, we are celebrating the sixth edition of IISF with the theme Science for Client and Global Welfare. किसी भी देश के सतत विकास के लिए विज्ञान तथा प्रौद्योगिकी प्रमुख कारण होते हैं हाल ही में जैसे कोविड नाइन्टीन महामारी के कारण देश की अर्थव्यवस्था में जो व्यवधान उत्पन्न हुए थे उन्हें प्रौद्योगिकी नवाचारों तथा विकास की भूमिका के माध्यम से ही हम उनको इफेक्टिवली एड्रेस कर पाए हैं और इस संदर्भ में इन प्रौद्योगिकी नवाचारों और विकास की भूमिका को फिर से महत्वपूर्ण बना दिया है जैसा कि हम सभी जानते हैं कि राष्ट्रव्यापी अभियान के रूप में हमारे माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने देश को आत्मनिर्भर बनाने की दिशा में मेक इन इंडिया वोकल फॉर लोकल जैसी परिकल्पनाओं को निरंतर प्रोत्साहित किया है इन परिकल्पना के पीछे प्रमुख उद्देश्य यह है कि जैसे जैसे भारत में आर्थिक गतिविधियां का विकास होगा और हम आगे चलेंगे हमारी निर्भरता आयातित सामग्रियों पर कम से कम होती रहनी चाहिए इस अभियान में थोड़े समय में ही कई नवाचारों तथा तो स्टार्टअप्स और कई सारे एंटरप्राइजेस को बढ़ावा दिया है और इसके साथ ही कई उद्यमियों को भी नए अवसर प्रदान किए हैं एंड आई वुड जस्ट लाइक टू पॉइंट आउट दैट ग्लोबली नेशंस आर इंक्रीजिंगली बिकमिंग अवेयर ऑफ इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी राइट एंड दे आर पोजिशनिंग देयर आई पी आर रिजर्व इन टर्म्स ऑफ देयर ट्रेड पॉलिसीज This has been, in fact, uh, witnessed in the area of wireless communications, of which I am very closely associated. Uh, where during second and third generation mobile communication systems, where most of the IPRs were held by the Western nations, however, the balance of IPR have in third generation, in fourth generation, and fifth generation wireless communication has slowly shifted to Asia Pacific countries. But India still. has negligible contributions in ipr despite it being the second largest telecom market uh, in the world the critical element for the success of atmanirbhar bharat and make in india missions are we believe that design and ipr creations leading to product manufacturing and in this context academia can play a significant role in driving innovations creating intellectual properties incubating startups contributing to global standards with standards uh, uh, essential patents indian academia uh, and indian scientific community uh, has significant potential uh, although you know uh, our academia is mostly focused pr currently primarily on r and d towards uh, publication uh, perhaps going forwards we need an increasing emphasis on translational research uh, driving innovations for our country to design develop manufacture and commercialize global competitive products we need close linkages between the translational research in academia uh, in the industry as my colleague uh, professor harish mentioned that iit kanpur has been contributing to many such translational research and incubating startups and interactions uh, with the industry uh, these stories uh, demonstrates that young talents energy and enthusiasm when it is guided and mentored and channelized by experienced scientists and leaders uh, we can actually do uh, wonder uh, it, it, we have seen it in the past that how close collaborations uh, between academia and industry can drive innovative and globally competitive uh, product <clears throat> uh, finally uh, i uh, as professor uh, verma has rightly mentioned that to address many of our issues be it in the healthcare or uh, in the manufacturing sectors we need a multi sectoral uh, interventions and i am really glad and delighted that ministry of science and technology with science and engineering research board has taken many such initiatives uh, which will catalyze uh, all the scientific innovations uh, towards making a self reliant india nishchit roop se ab ye samay aa gaya hai कि हम अपने देश के गौरव को पुनः स्थापित करने में एक साइंटिस्ट के रूप में महत्वपूर्ण भूमिका निभाएं यह सही समय है जब हमारे प्रधानमंत्री जी और हमारे सरकार के आत्मनिर्भर भारत अभियान को मूर्त रूप प्रदान करने में वैज्ञानिक के तौर पर एक एकेडमिक इंस्टीट्यूशन के तौर पर पूरी सक्रियता के साथ आवश्यक उपाय करें और आगे आए धन्यवाद जय हिंद
thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for being assembled here uh, for the key curtain raiser ceremony of uh, this India International Science Festival. Uh, it is now my great uh, honor and privilege uh, to invite uh, Dr. Harshwadhar, uh, Union Minister for uh, Science and Technology, uh, to give uh, uh, his address. Dr. Harshwadhar. Good morning to all distinguished friends present here today. My dear director of IIT Kanpur, Professor Abhay Karandikar ji, Secretary of SERB, Professor Sandeep Verma ji, National Organizing Secretary of Vigyan Bharti Shri Jayant Sastra Buddha ji, General Secretary of Vibha, Dr. Sunil Mishra ji, all faculty members of this prestigious institution, other esteemed guests and members of the audience. It gives me immense pleasure to join all of you today for the curtain raiser ceremony of the India International Science Festival 2020. The year 2020 has been unprecedented in many ways. The global crisis arising out of the COVID-19 pandemic has created a never-before situation. Quite appropriately, our Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji has given a clarion call for Atman Nirbhar Bharat, a self-reliant India. I have called 2020 as the year of science, thereby implying that it was science, technology and innovation that rose to the challenge and raced to the rescue of humanity when an unknown virus wreaked havoc on millions of people causing unprecedented damage. The whole world has recognized the vital role of science, technology and innovation in achieving self-reliance during this period of global crisis. Indian science fraternity and all R&D institutions have also responded swiftly and successfully to the challenges. This has helped immensely in building the desired confidence amongst people. While there is a realization that more and more needs to be done in the fields of science and healthcare. There is an equal and pressing need to convey and showcase the achievements of science and technology to the society. The India International Science Festival was launched by our government in 2015 with this very aim to demonstrate the strength and potential of Indian science and technology, not only to the people of India, but to the entire international community as well. India International Science Festival is a celebration of science and technology by engaging with public from different cross sections of our society and showcasing how science, technology, engineering and mathematics are providing us with solutions to improve the quality of our living. This time, the sixth India International Science Festival called IISF 2020 is being jointly organized by the ministries of science and technology, earth sciences and health and family welfare in association with Vigyan Bharti during December 22 to December 25 at New Delhi in virtual mode. I am delighted to know that IIT Kanpur is also contributing to the success of this year's science festival. IIT Kanpur has always been a vibrant creative hub, comprising the very best in terms of academic research and outreach practices. While the institute has created a global impact through its academics and research, it remains firmly connected to the national agenda of development. 
स्टार्ट अप इनोवेशन एंड इनक्यूबेशन सेंटर ए टेक्नोलॉजी बिजनेस इनक्यूबेटर एट आई आई टी कानपुर इज वन ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट इनोवेशन एंड इनक्यूबेशन इको सिस्टम इन द कंट्री आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट एट प्रेजेंट इट हैज मोर देन सेवेंटी इनक्यूबेटेड कंपनीज एंड मोर देन सिक्सटी हैव ऑलरेडी ग्रेजुएटेड इन रिस्पॉन्स to the make in india and atmanirbhar bharat appeals made by honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji faculty and researchers of iit kanpur have come up with multiple r&d projects i am told that noka robotics and iit kanpur incubated company under the overall supervision of iit kanpur team has designed and developed a high end yet affordable indigenous portable ventilator necessary for providing life support to critically ill covid-19 patients similarly the nano fiber based protective surface coating for n95 masks was also developed at iit kanpur and e spin Nanotech Private Limited has set up its manufacturing facility at the IIT Kanpur campus under the brand name of Swasa to boost the biomedical entrepreneurship and nurture the next generation of biomedical entrepreneurs in India IIT Kanpur established the School of International Bio Design synergizing healthcare innovation and entrepreneurship with funding from dbt and a state of the art facility for design and fabrication of medical devices with support from birec recently dst has also selected iit kanpur as the technology innovation hub in cyber security of cyber physical systems the national air quality index as well as the center for ganga river basin management and studies a comprehensive think tank to the national mission for clean ganga are the finest examples of how iit kanpur has participated in the national agenda of sustainable development i congratulate all of you at iit kanpur for the exemplary manner in which you have been working towards attaining the goal of atmanirbhar bharat this four day science festival aims towards strengthening and expanding the soft power of our nation globally as many as 41 different events covering stem disciplines have also been included in the list of 2020 iisf to attract young and innovative minds through science technology and innovation india can expand its soft power globally with all its devastation 2020 has been a great scientific success story for me the recognition of scientists and technical experts as first responders to grave humanitarian threats is really important to the scientists and technology experts who gave everything to us in this pandemic crisis hundreds of healthcare innovations new medical devices research and development in vaccines tests and treatments a big shout out and a bigger thank you thanks and best wishes for a great collaboration on this event so it is my pleasure to thank honorable minister dr harshvardhan uh, union minister for science and technology and all sciences and our ministry of health and family welfare uh, thank you sir your vision and blessings will go a long way for the success of this uh, india international science festival and i look forward for participating to come and enjoy and see the insight into what technological advances various institutes have produced in india and how they are relevant for the current needs of uh, indian society 
So with that, I thank all of you and the dignitaries, uh, speakers, friends, faculty members, students, and have a nice day ahead. Jai Hind. Thank you. Thank you.